here's a thought problem you shouldn't try at home, but it sounds pretty funny. Uh, suppose this morning you spilled coffee in your toaster, and not only did you soak your bagel, but you shorted out the toaster. You bring your toaster into class, and your physics professor suggests the following. Sticking a light bulb in series with one of the cables uh, coming out of the, the toaster before it gets to the plug that we would plug into the wall. She assures you that if you do this, then the, the, sofa will be, the toaster will be safe to plug into the wall and it won't electrocute you. The question is, do you trust her? I suppose you could always answer that yes, you always trust your physics professor, but it would be better if you actually could trust the, the scientific reasoning behind it. The thing to think about here is that without a short or a light bulb or anything, just what is your to toaster normally? It is normally a big giant resistor hooked up to the 120 volts of your wall socket and then returned to ground of the other the plug of your wall socket. When the toaster uh, has a current running through it, the resistor gets hot because the power dissipated through a resistor can be quite large, especially if the voltage is large and the resistance is uh, moderate. So that's what toasts your bagel. When you spilled coffee in the toaster, you put a path in that was a very low resistance. Essentially, you connected a wire, a short, across the toaster resistance, which was making essentially zero resistance connecting the 120 volts and zero volts of the plug. As a result, the current coming out of the wall starts to go to infinity because you connected the 120 volts wall socket to a very small resistance, and current follows a path of least resistance, or if you think about it, the equivalent resistor is still zero when you add a, a zero plus a resistance in parallel. That's why the, the shorted out toaster is so dangerous. It's because the equivalent resistor is zero. So your physics professor's suggestion was to add another resistor in series with this whole thing. The light bulb in series makes a finite resistance. As a result, now the current will be the 120 volts divided by the resistance of the light bulb. And that, in principle, should be safe, that you'll get the same current you would normally get when you connect a light bulb to a wall socket. I'm not suggesting you try this at home, but it does give a sense of what happens when a short occurs and what happens when you add other resistances in series.